All right, hey, hey everybody, RV enthusiasts here. Nice seeing you again. Today, we are replacing the Ocelot sensor with a new sensor. So, Richard sent me a new sensor. Here it is. The only question is, this may be too short. Uh, it is certainly shorter than the existing one, so this may belong to a different bike, but we'll know shortly. I know this fits on, so we're good there, but we just gotta make sure we can uh, connect to this. Let's take a look. All right, guys, as I get back down here on the floor, we'll just put some light on this to show you. These are Phillips screwdriver screws. Do not use, to go out is okay, but to go back in, do not use a, uh, do not use a drill bit to put them, or drill to put them back in because you can strip them out. All right, we'll use one of the screwdrivers that is sent with all these bikes. And as tempting as it is, yeah, uh, uh, electric driver would be better. Uh, certainly coming out, that's a possibility. Going in, no way. Then we've got some regular ones here. One, two, three, four, five regular ones as well. So we need to take that off. Then we'll have access to the controller. I think he's got to send me the, the correct one. This is way too long. This is way too short. So as much as this would fit in and turn here, I don't think I don't think I can make a good square connection. So I got to call. I got to I got to text him back to send me the one with the longer uh, cord. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> Magicycle has more than one bike. I think they accidentally sent me the short plug, and the Ocelot takes the long plug. Everything seems to be the same. So what we're gonna do, let's see if I can keep you in focus here. Back you up a little bit and try to keep you in focus. What I'm gonna try to do I'm going to take a screwdriver in here, and I'm just going to reach right here where these little notches are and pull this one out. Pulled out quite nicely. So here's the, this is the Ocelot one. Now, what I'm going to try to do, and you can tell this is the magnets because it holds on. What I'm going to try to do is the same with this one without breaking it. So you just reach in, grab it, and pull it out. Then you take your old one, and you just take this little piece here, and push it in. And now it's snapped back into place. And now, your old one should work. Because you can tell from my, my previous, 
as soon as we find it, right there, right there. So that, that little bit of crack right there makes this not spin when it's inside the, uh, the axle. So I'm going to put these two away and I'll save these for later. Oh, and you guys, if you ever want to know, here's your 12 magnets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's your 12 magnets that they talk about for setting your, uh, your kind of your pace, how you, how you want the, uh, the uh, pedals to interact with you. Now I'm going to keep this actually, and I think I'm going to try to... No, I don't think it's going to work. Just too tight. I was going to say I'm, I might try to uh, glue this back together and just test it, but that's, for, for what it is, that's no good. This now works. Let's put it on the bike. Okay, so now we've got to fish this back up through this little opening. So there's a nice big fat wire that's in the way for me, so I'm just grabbing my flat screwdriver and kind of mushing it out of the way. All right, guys. Oops, sorry. All right, guys, so here's the deal. Mine was, uh, this wire here was jammed up in here so much, I finally figured out it was not pulled out all the way, so I pulled it out. Now I have room to massage the sensor, I think, up into the second cavity. And there it is. All right, so if you have room in here, you're good. If you, if, 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 if they didn't clear these wires enough for you, you you'll struggle like I did. Um, so I cleared this wire, which is uh, this wire here. It was just kind of wrapped up in there. You can kind of tell a little bit wrapped up in there. Now it's through. Now all we have to do is connect it. And again, remember the two connections. Remember we got that little cutout. There you go. Now it's back in. And now all we got to do is kind of restuff these uh, wires back in. There it is. Very nicely fit. And then this can just tuck back up in. Plenty of room now, guys. No problem whatsoever. Now, hey guys, I could use my bicycle stand to do the same thing, but what I'm doing is I'm getting my wife out here to tip the bike up on edge because I'm going to keep my hands busy showing you that this works. Honey, stand up here so you don't get your fingers caught. All right, I'm going to spin it. And there it goes. So it's working. All right, so I'm going to reassemble it. Thank you. That's all I needed. I'm going to reassemble it and then we will uh, take it for a test ride. Okay guys, so what I want to tell you, don't panic if you see the little short one. This would probably have pulled through and made it to the short one anyway. I wanted all mine tucked back just the way it was. So I just used the outer shell of the sensor because what was broke and what will be broke on yours will be the inner shell. You can pop that out and pop the new one back in. It's the same thing. And in reality, it'll be a lot easier for you um, when you get the new one. I would almost, and I'll talk to MagiCycle, see if they can just send us the magnet portions because that seems to be what uh, breaks. Um, it'll be cheaper for them to bring or to, to mail. Uh, it'll be easier to do. And they just pop out. It's very easy. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to take it. Give myself a little more line yet. No, I'm not going to put that on yet. First, we got to put this back together. I'm going to talk about this for a minute. So I'm not posting this the way I'm posting it for you guys to go. 
uh, Magicycle, F Magicycle, they sent me junk, they sent me this, they sent me that. This is a manufactured part, not by Magicycle. You can find these everywhere. Um, so, you know, for, a, for an $18 part and Magicycle to send it back to us, that's a fantastic thing. I, and I know it's under warranty and I know I'm going to get people to say, you're biased towards Magicycle. It's under warranty. They should send it to us anyway. It shouldn't have broke, blah, blah, blah. Any of that kind of stuff, that's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to help people out. Uh, I'm doing this to show you how to do it. This could happen to any manufacturer's bike. I'm doing this for another manufacturer as well, very shortly. Um, why do they want me to do it? Because they know it happens. This is, this is plastic, and if you look how thin it is in spots, that's why it breaks. It's nothing to do with Magicycle. It might have to do with maybe someone at assembly might needs to uh, uh, learn to reassemble a little better. Maybe. I don't know. But it's not that big of a deal. Now, here's how I would do it if I were you. I would certainly not pull all this out. If, if you can just, and, and it was very easy... It was very, very easy, and I, I'm showing you a second time. All you got to do is reach up in here, buy one of these scallops out, and pop it out, and it'll you'll feel it. It'll pop, pop it out, and then and then press the new one in. The, the new one's got three little uh, grippers, and you just press it back into place, and it works. It beats fighting this. You can fight this and you can get it in, but it's a little bit more challenging. And then you don't have to take all that off either. Just take the crank off, take the inside of the sensor out, put the new inside of the sensor in and plop it back on, done. Uh, truly probably a 10 minute job uh, versus what's gonna be a half hour maybe. And the way I talk, you know it's longer than that. Yeah, I got a lot of comments on the last bike, or on the last part of this, where, where um, and I saw it on Facebook too, where everyone's complaining that, uh, you know, uh, why did I buy a bike that has, you know, that, that this part breaks. Apparently they all break, guys, uh, in a lot of cases. And uh, uh, it's not something to fret a whole lot about, especially if you can do it the way I just uh, didn't do it. <laughs> if you do it the way I just showed you, at the end, that's a heck of a lot better way to do it. The one suggestion I would use, I uh, give you, is don't use this screwdriver. Get yourself a better uh, screwdriver than this thing. Okay, now all I gotta do is tighten these back, but I want a better screwdriver than this, and a better one than this. Now, put this where this cable lines up to that and just slide it on gently. Gently. It's tight. Right like so, guys. It'll move right into place once you get it. And that's on. Perfect. Perfect. Now, the last thing we need to do Make sure you're on the opposite side of your pedal. See, I left this all together from the last time, guys. I didn't take anything apart. Okay. Now that's where it should be. Then we take the screw. Screw it in, 
And then we get an eight millimeter wrench and we just tighten this down until this sinks back in. Put your eight millimeter in, start cranking it back down. And this requires quite a bit of torque. I would say anywhere from 30 newton meters to 50 newton meters or something like that. But quite a bit. In terms of what you're feeling here, probably this little short thing, 50 or 60 pounds. There we go. All right, guys, so that's What's that noise? What's that noise? What is that noise? Hang on, guys. Let me take you off this stand here. Help me look around. What the heck is that noise? Sounds like a, sounds like a lion or something. Oh man, it's a lion. No, I heard it again. And he wasn't moving his mouth, so it wasn't him. What was it? What the heck? Guys. Hey! It was a jaguar woundy, guys. There's a Jaguar Woundy. That's going to be one of the next videos coming up. All right, guys, that's how to fix the Ocelot Pro sensor issue. Um, follow the directions on the other way if that's the way Magicycle approves it. It's much easier. Um, and we'll see if it costs Magicycle a little less if they can get just that half a piece. That'd be a great, uh, a great way to save them money and, and uh, save you a little bit of a headache. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. For the Magicycle people, get ready for the Jaguar Undi coming up. And for the other manufacturers, the other e-bikes, get ready for your stuff coming up. Uh, got a lot of stuff going on this winter, guys, so stick with us. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you on the next episode. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, guys, I'm going to uh, throttle just to get out here. Now, here we go. I'm going to pedal. I'm in PAS1. So, as I pedal, full power the whole time. Hit the brake. Now, I'm going to go up to PAS. Same thing. Up to PAS, same thing. Pedal, pedal. Hands off the. shot here. I'm going to go from a dead stop, just pedaling. There it is, kicked in, and it's staying in. So there's your fix, guys.